where you live when the England game kicks off, keywords, FIFA World Cup. But will England give them something to celebrate in the glorious sunshine and 33C heat? Saturday afternoon is set to be a scorcher as a record 30 million people watch the quarter-final clash on TV. Temperatures could be the hottest of the year so far as football fans battle the heat as well as their nerves, but there is a risk of isolated showers in some places. Brits have been warned to take precautions in the sun, image, PA, Porth Madog in Wales is the current record holder, reaching 33C exactly on June 28, but this weekend the thermometer could edge just above it. But the sweltering conditions pose a health risk, especially to vulnerable Brits including the elderly. The Met Office and Public Health England this week upgraded their heatwave alert to Ember, the second highest level, below red, for western regions of England. Beaches will be packed as the heatwave continues, image, PA, a yellow alert is in place for eastern regions. The alerts mean people should take precautions to avoid being struck down by heat-related illnesses. Football fans will be lighting up their barbecues, stocking their fridges with beer and gathering in huge numbers to watch the World Cup action from the Cosmos Arena in Samara, Russia. Saturday could be the hottest day of the year so far, image, PA, here at home, fans are expected to sink around 38 million pints, with supermarkets braced for a beer and food frenzy. Big screens have been set up for supporters in many cities, and street parties are planned all over England. Met Office spokeswoman Nicola Maxey said temperatures in London and southeast are likely to reach 31C and 32C, with isolated weather stations potentially reaching 33C on Saturday and possibly Sunday. An amber heat wave alert has been issued for Western England, image, PA, we could well see the hottest day of the year so far this weekend. It's only got to go to 33.1 C, 91.6 F, and you're there, she said. The football starts at 3 p.m., and temperatures are set to reach their highest in the afternoon. Everywhere across the south will enjoy temperatures in the high 20s and even low 30s, but almost the entire country will be feeling the heat. It's not just in the southeast, but the peak is likely to be the southeast over the weekend, Ms. Maxey said. She also warned of isolated showers in London on Saturday, potentially in the afternoon. I don't suppose anybody minds. They're all going to be inside watching the football, she joked. While the hot weather is ideal for a big celebration, the continuing heat wave is causing problems for water companies, which are urging customers to curb their use to prevent potential hose pipe bans. United Utilities, which serves the Northwest, said it urgently needed help and support to stop a ban from coming into force, while a hosepipe ban is into its second week in Northern Ireland. The amber and yellow heat wave alerts will remain in place to the middle of next week when temperatures take a slight dip. Temperatures will reach their highest in the afternoon, image, Liverpool Echo, the elderly, young children and those with heart and lung conditions are at greater risk. Public Health England said it has seen an increase in cases of sunburn, sunstroke, heat stroke and insect bites during the two-week heat wave. It has offered the following advice to beat the heat, stay out of the sun. Keep your home as cool as possible, shading windows and shutting them during the day may help. Open them when it is cooler at night. Keep drinking fluids, especially water. Carry water with you when you travel. Check on family, friends or neighbors who might be at special risk, for example, an older person living on their own. Children and pets should not be left alone in cars. Amber, or level 3, is the second highest level on the heat wave scale. It is issued when the thresholds have been exceeded. A red alert, or level 4, is issued when a prolonged hot spell becomes severe that level, illness and death may occur among the fit and healthy, and not just in high-risk groups, the Met Office said. 
Next week, a colder front will come into Scotland and move south across the country causing temperatures to drop to the low 20s in the east and northeast. Still above average for the time of year, but perhaps a bit of respite from that intense heat that we've been seeing in places. Just for the east side of the country, south and central areas are likely to continue with the higher 20s, Ms. Maxi said.